Good morning. Um, it is 11.20. I just woke up. Um, essentially, the plan was to wake up around like 7, 8-ish and, you know, just explore what is around me. But um, in the same time, I also allowed myself, in case I need sleep, that I can sleep till like 11.12 and I'll still be alright for the rest of the day. Honestly, I was absolutely naked, even though I had like early night. I think I'd be, I think I slept by like 9 p.m. I didn't want to sleep super early, but not super late. And I was actually up at like 2:30, wide awake, and I think I fell asleep again around like 5:30. So I was like, okay, am I gonna get like another? two and a half, three hours of sleep and maybe that will sort me up. <sighs> not the case, not the case, but yeah, I literally just pulled the curtain and I can feel the heat, so what is the weather actually? Oh, 32 degrees already. Beautiful, so I'm just gonna get ready. Um, I have basically lunch because I only found places for breakfast because I was quite optimistic um, and then I will get my hair cut. So I was just getting ready but I had a phone call that my suitcase been delivered so as you can see suitcase is here with me. It literally took about like half a day not even and it cost me £13, so instead of like dragging it from the airport, from Narita to um, the train station and then go to subway and go through all the steps and everything, because there's literally stairs everywhere, I paid £13 and got it delivered, hustle free, oh my god, like that must be a thing elsewhere as well, I don't know, but yeah, it feels like Japan really lives in 2050 because this is incredible so I'm just gonna get ready now and head out okay I'm finally ready this is the outfit all black I have my Tevas Tevas in this cold I'm gonna be boiling anyways but you know what it is what it is so let's go get a haircut and actually breakfast or lunch first let's see Well, I'm the worst vlogger ever because I didn't film anything in there. I got a bit intimidated, not gonna lie, because everyone just looks so cool there. So, you know, I just chat with them and everything, but didn't take any video. But this is the haircut. I went for a shack, which they specialize in. Uh, the hairstylist I, dis uh, I picked basically just do shacks. And obviously, it's way different. But it's so much better, especially for this heat, it's like 34 degrees, so yeah, I'm just now sitting in a park, was trying to take uh, off some of the hair that I have on me, because uh, sunscreen, and it just stick on it, and I tried to get it rid of in a salon, and it just didn't budge, so I got some wet wipes, and normal wipes, like napkins, tissues, and gonna try to sort myself out but yeah and now I have 40 minutes before my nail appointment so I'm basically just behind the corner sitting in this little like park I would say I'm gonna have finally some food so I got myself uh, this uh, katsu sando so gonna have that and hopefully it will fill me up for a little bit before getting my nails so this is how it looks like let's try it mm. very lovely for that price sensational honestly
I'm finally back. I'm showered. I feel finally fresh. It was 35 degrees today and the humidity is 79%. That literally felt like it's 45 degrees outside. Like absolutely insane. But I survived. Uh, my hair barely, barely. I actually have like a wispy banks in the middle but because of the heat it was just sticking on my forehead so I just like swiped it to the sides but also the hairdresser told me that I have a cowlick and that makes now all sense because my hair always been like going like this when I have a banks and I don't like it so I need to retrain it he said it's possible but it's good to know and that uh, that I have it so now I can work with it and it is quite shorter than I expected it has lots of layers loads and loads and loads of layers and I paid 9450 yen I think which is roughly about 50 pounds so if you ask me that's also a bargain because this haircut in London or even in Prague will cost around 100 pounds so I save money so we love that uh, then I got my nails done I went a bit rogue and went for red because yesterday when I was uh, obviously flying to Taipei every single flight attendant had like red nails and I was like oh my god that looks so cute and some of them had like these as you can see silver bows and I was like do you know what I'm gonna get that as well so I got it I have to say really lovely uh bless that girl that did my nails unfortunately she didn't uh, speak English really well because the owner who I was talking to she's like fluent in English but uh, she had to take um like emergency time off so she was like if I'm still okay and if I don't mind it will be like with her colleagues who can't really speak English I was like yeah no that's fine I don't want it like anything like complicated anyways so I can hopefully explain with Google Translate and it was absolutely fine it was lovely so yeah got my nails done um, then I braced myself also I have to say the sunset is super early I think I finished my nails it was like six o'clock and it was it was like almost dark dark like so I was like Do you know what I'm not gonna uh, do all the sightseeing that I planned because I thought it would be still like light but what I did is I got a first ramen which was absolutely incredible I found this on I think it was on TikTok or Instagram and it wasn't uh, it uh, wasn't that like popular the video was like only like a couple hundred uh, likes and I was like okay no well, let me check the reviews and everything really good reviews and absolutely incredible also I spoke to my hairstylist and I show him like because he was asking like oh what's your like favorite meal uh, and I was like ramen and he's like oh do you know any good ramen places I'm like well I've researched those and he's like that's a great one and then I found another one which is not too far from the hotel and he said that's a really good one and they, then I should try a Korean ramen so I'm gonna definitely do that but in this place he actually recommended a uh, citron ramen which I was like a bit like okay that sounds interesting I have to say incredible the broth was like really rich it was so flavorful you can really taste the lemon as well but like not too much it wasn't really acidic it was just like or like the fra fragrance I would say from lemon and like a hint of a flavor it was incredible and then I got a highball as well and you can't go wrong with that so that was the ramen incredible incredible and then because I was in Shibuya so I checked the Shibuya crossing I crossed it not like the crossing way just the one side too many people there's actually a spot that you can go upstairs and it's like a bakery or there's like a rooftop where you can get a drink it's like you need to buy a drink to have it like a entry so I think I'm gonna check it out probably tomorrow in the night when I'm gonna come back from my little trip uh, to seaside and then because I was there I was like well let's go to mega Don Quixote Don Quixote or whatever which is essentially kind of like Daiso in Korea it's like a big 
the seven floor shop who has like so many different bits and bobs so what i did actually i i would love to show you but this is in a tax refund uh, bag so i can't open it unless i leave for leave japan but just to tell you there's like a couple bags like shipping bags one for my grandma one for my dad actually um i got myself a tear tear makeup the viral one I uh, got a few more bits for my uh, grandma and dad as a souvenir. got like a pack of face masks and it's like the liquid toothpaste like that you can swig it in your mouth and you have a fresh breath so I want to try it. So with that and then uh, I selected a few items which I'm going to be using while I'm here. So first, it's very random but everyone has it. I saw that even in Czech Republic. It's like this strap for your phone. But because I was walking a lot today and I have obviously my camera so I want to fold it, uh, fold it, I want to film with my camera but also take some, some pictures and stuff so constantly like going in and out from my purse I was just like purse for my bag or oh, it was a bit annoying so I'm just gonna put it on the lead on a leash strap it and hopefully it's gonna be so much easier then I got myself a coin purse because I have so many coins and it annoys the shit out of me and this was kind of like the, the best one they had like so many like hello kitties and like the cats and miffies and everything also very expensive i have to say so i just got this one and then i got these wipes that apparently should have minus three degrees like temperature and should cool you down this is like a peach flavor it's for your body and because it's so hot so i was like you know what i'm gonna try it and let's see if it's really cold some people say it's really really cold what i saw on tiktok and stuff but we'll see and then lastly i just got myself a spray um sunscreen that i can top up my sunscreen uh when i'm out and about just quickly on my arms and on my face and that is basically it so yeah, full on day, even though I had a lay in, I feel like I'm tired, but I don't feel exhausted, which is nice. So I think today sleeping in was like a really good idea. And then tomorrow I'm going to wake up a bit earlier. I'm going to do the bits that I didn't do this morning. So I'll check the Tokyo Tower and what is around, get the breakfast around here as well. And yeah, just have a good time and then go for a little trip to seaside and also before i go i actually got myself some ice creams so we're gonna test some japanese ice cream because it's so hot still okay so this is the first one it should be like vanilla ice cream with uh, some chocolate and it should be like little buttons then i got this one which i don't know it's like a peachy i don't know peachy creamy ice cream some balls so we will see and then i was really intrigued intrigued with this so why are we not focusing hello so it says ice box it should be rock you with was i can't speak and it should be like a lemon flavor so let's see what this is about okay so let's start with this one Oh my god, it's melting, so it's broken. Wow. So this tastes very peachy. It's a creamy inside. And I see like top. And oh my god, this is oh, this is incredible. Mm. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Okay, let's try the the ice if I can get in oh my god so this is how it looks like it's literally just like it's basically just lemon flavored ice very refreshing 
very nice. And now, lastly, this one. Ooh, so it's opening essentially like a Maltesis. So, this is how it looks like. You have like a little toothpick. So, cheers. Mm. It definitely melted. But that is incredible. So, yeah. I'm gonna enjoy my ice creams. Oh, hold on. That's not it. I have one more item to show you. So, I went to Goo or GU, which essentially is a sister brand to Uniqlo. And. I got this bag which I'm absolutely obsessed so I was looking for like a big sporty bag that I can use put my laptop in it and it's crossbody what I love is this one is really thick strap also if you travel in it has this strap that you can put over a uh, hand luggage or suitcase which I thought is genius then you have this like scrunchy don't know what you can do with that but i like it and then when you open it it's like very big and then you have a compartment for your laptop so i was like okay probably it's gonna be pricey do you know how much it cost it cost no jokes 2990 yen which is about 16 pounds 16 pounds so i got this it's really good quality it should be also waterproof for 16 pounds i would pay at least 50 quid in london for it maybe even more so i'm absolutely thrilled with this i haven't been in uniqlo yet i will go check it as well but when i was checking website i really like the bag uh the bags in gu uh, more so that's why i went there there were two more bags one like purple one and one like <sighs> brick red reddish color but then i saw this one and i'm like this is perfect and also it's gonna match with my shoes because i have gray reeboks so i was like you know what this is perfect but anyways i see you in a bit <laughs> 